Who be in Leeds said my man, say my man YFN Lucci got the dub. YFN Lucci has now taken a 20-year plea deal. And it's a prison plea deal. However, he'll only serve possibly only four months or so. Okay. News came down early today that YFN Lucci was sentenced to a 20-year sentence. With 10 years to serve after pleading guilty to one count of the violation of the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act. Now, let me give you his case if you probably forgot. Basically, YFN Lucci was uh, indicted on, uh, you know, uh, on really counts of violating the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act. It's kind of like a RICO Act. It's kind of like a conspiracy act. Like New York, statewide, New York has a conspiracy act. Um Georgia has this gang, whatever, you know, um, prevention act, whatever. And that basically is like a RICO. You know what I mean? Uh, unfortunately, the word or the phrase RICO is actually overblown because mostly only feds kind of like actually charge somebody with racketeering. Um, and, and, you know, it stands for racketeering. And I, I forgot what the rest is. Anyway, regardless, they charge Lucci for this. Lucci had gotten out on bail, if you don't know. And what happened afterwards is that uh, it was the most bizarre story ever. Lucci and his homies decided to get either in his Bentley or his G-Wagon and drive through the ops block. Some people believe they intended to do a shootout or a drive-by. But a lot of people would say, why do a drive-by in a Bentley or a G-Wagon? Why not just drive like some random low-profile car to do it? Apparently, when they drive through the block, Shots were fired from the vehicle. Shots got fired back into the vehicle. Lucci was driving the car. And what happened is that somebody in the car got shot uh, fatally, uh, either in the neck or the head. Um, as they were getting out of that block, they basically kicked the person and ejected the person out of the car because he was bleeding. Yeah, listen, if we doing a drill in my Urus, you can't bleed on the yellow leather seats. What the fuck? Get that nigga out of here. So they kicked the nigga out. He was gasping for his last breaths of air. I'm not making fun of that, but that's just what it was. And um, there was some passerbys who actually even reported to the cops saying, hey, listen, I see this guy. He's about, to, he's about to die. They're like, what do you mean? They're like, hey, it looks like he was shot. They're like, where did he come from? It looks like he was, we saw a car pass, but it looked like he was pushed out of the car. So, uh, and I think maybe we could find, let me see, wife and Lucci times his car got shot up there's a bentley too let me see or am i tripping maybe it wasn't this how many times have niggas cars been shot up holy was it a g-wagon there was a time it's like rolls royce got shot up is g-wagon got shot up in 2019 <laughs> Shut up. Hold on. <sighs> Wife and Lucy shot up, left dead. Maybe I'm I'm, I'm chilling. Maybe I'm wilding. Hold on, hold on, hold on. ID. Okay, this was. Let me see. Let me see. Fuck. Come on, stop. AGC. Okay, okay. This is 2021. Okay, maybe I got the wrong car, but he, he did get his Z wagon shot up. Maybe no one got hurt in that one. Hold on. Okay. Uh, Atlanta blah, is wanted for murder. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. In a December shooting. Yeah, I don't think it was a G-Wagon. It was a Maybach SUV. Thank you. Somebody corrected me. Damn. By the way, Lucci, you got to move out of Atlanta. If they've shot your G-Wagon and your, and your Maybach, cut it out. Anyway, same same precedence as what I was saying. Nobody goes on a drill in a Maybach, right? Uh, Bennett's gonna face all these type of things. Let's find the Maybach. It was a Maybach SUV. It was like that's when everybody got a Maybach truck and they were doing. Everybody, you know the Maybach truck. Let me just show y'all real quick. The one where every rapper used to try to have it jump on the hydraulics. Maybach truck hydraulics. Yeah, everybody kept doing this dumb shit with it, right? Look. Got new ups of like a hundred. Okay. Yeah, so everybody kept doing this shit. So yeah, it, so this is the Maybach truck. That's not me doing that, baby. That's okay. Car doing that. 
Or actually, I should say uh, um, how they how the, how it was meant to be produced is the Maybach, okay? For the um, more established and more prestige people, it's it's not if you if you go into a a, a real Mercedes dealership and deal with a higher echelon of people, they won't call it a Maybach. It's called a Maybach. Anyway, uh, let's find the Maybach truck. We're gonna find the one that got shot up. Is this the one? No, 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 no. I think there's pictures of it. Murder. Oh, by the way, we have the we have the uh, nine one one call as well. Let's see if we could find. Uh, okay, no. So this is the old one. Which, by the way, if niggas shot up your car like this, like a year before, you should move, right? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't get another expensive car that they're going to shoot up. Okay. Uh, nah, that's still the G-Wagon. Let's see if we can find the Maybach. I know there's pictures of it. There's pictures of that Maybach truck being shot up as well. May Maybe like that. It's not called Maybach truck. It's just Maybach SUV. All right. Maybach... Yeah, murder. That's actually a pretty good search term. Let's see if we can find it. No? All right. Anyway, let's listen to the uh, 911 call about that shit. Hello, tomorrow. One operator 2679. What's the address of your emergency? Oh, we need an ambulance. Oh, <laughs> Somebody is laying out. Somebody is, I don't know. Oh. He, he barely. Let me connect you. Like he he just, somebody just threw him out of the car. Let me connect you to the ambulance. Huh? He not, he's still trying to fight for his life. EMS, what's the address of the emergency? Baby, can y'all please get an ambulance? By the way, to kind of crystallize what's going on in the scene, there's a passerby seeing a man who's gasping for air. He's basically hugging on to the last moments of his life. The person who got shot in the Maybach of wife and Lucci was ruthlessly and cold-bloodedly pushed out of the vehicle. You know, again, all this gang-gang shit, you throw up a million signs, niggas wiping their nose, slime, and saying all this dumb shit. Your mans get shot in your Maybach, you push him the fuck out and let him bleed out on the street, not in the car. You feel me? You don't try to drive him to the hospital. You say, see you in the afterlife, nigga. They push the nigga straight out. Unbuckle that nigga and gave him a donkey kick and kicked him onto the road. Don't get mad at me. That's exactly what happened, okay? Um, so the guy who got shot and was dying in the vehicle, you can't have him. You, listen, you can't have him bleeding on the Alcantara leather. You, you just can't really have him bleed on, on some of the finer things. There's a ref refrigerator in the back of the vehicle. None of that. You got to kick his ass out. Let his ass bleed out on the sidewalk. And that's exactly what happened, to be honest, okay? And after they kicked his ass out, he was bleeding out in the sidewalk. They skirted out of there. And um, somebody who was walking by saw somebody who was dying and said, wow, let me call the cops. Sorry. Hey, listen, all that gang gang shit, you should tell you, it don't mean a lot. Not when a nigga got a Maybach, okay? Nigga, you think you're going to bleed on my emblem, nigga? <laughs> nigga, fuck getting this shit detailed, nigga. Let's kick your ass out right now, Okay? <laughs> Listen, let me tell you how how dirty they did this nigga. With all due respect, and God rest his soul, I'm not trying to make fun of the guy who passed away, but we got to put this in perspective. Even according to the cops, even YNW Melly, who allegedly smoked his friends, at least had the decency to tell his other friend, bring these dead ass niggas to the hospital, okay? Don't just leave them on the side of the road. Lucy and them, is that nigga bleeding on my leather? Nigga, what? It's my nigga, kick him out. Get him out. You see, you gotta think about this. All that gang gang shit ain't worth it. Okay? At least in the YNW Melly case, they brought the corpses to the jail. Or I mean to the to, to uh to the hospital. They say, yeah, give them CPR. They're dead though, but still give them CPR. Okay? They had a little class. Allegedly. I don't know what's going on. I'm just over here. I'm drunk. Come on, liquor. I don't know what's going on. Wife and Lucci? You know you buy a new car 
and they got that little white paper in there with the two foot with the two footprints. And like, trust me, every nigga who really bought a car, you keep that shit in for the first month because you want to act like your car's still new. Shit. That's what Lucy had in this car, nigga. Nigga start bleeding in here, dying in here. Get, get this nigga. Get. Nigga, this is how they kick that nigga out of the car. I'm not even trying to make fun of the nigga, but I just got to keep it on with you, nigga. You ever watch 300? You ever seen this shit, nigga? This is how they kick that nigga out of the fucking oh, car. This is how they, I, bro, I'm telling you, nigga, like, you just got to, this is how they kick the nigga out of the fucking car right here. This, 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 this is Sparta! Just like that. I ain't even gonna hold you. Just like that. They kick that nigga straight out of the car, nigga. Get out of the Maybach, nigga. Get out of here, nigga. This shit self-drive. This shit. <laughs> this shit self-drive. This change lanes. We could put some shit in it. Move like a Tesla. You know, one thing it don't do by itself is clean blood off that letter, nigga. Get out of here. Yeah, they kick that nigga straight out of there. Straight out. I ain't even gonna hold you. Tell you the truth. Don't get mad at me. I ain't do it. Oh, yeah, I'm mad at me now. Oh, I, 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 I ain't do it. It ain't me. <laughs> it ain't me. <laughs> I've seen him. I it ain't me. <laughs> it wasn't me who did this. Don't get mad. <laughs> Y'all over here getting attitude with me and shit like that. Damn, act you cold. It ain't me. <laughs> I'm telling you, even, yo, my nigga Bortland had the GPS in his hand, nigga. Nigga, he, he, he ran 10 red lights trying to get the corpses to the hospital. He been you them niggas was dead. That nigga Borland was driving the car like, yo, let me act like I'm trying to get you out of... Yo, y'all good? Oh, damn, these niggas is like, what the fuck is this white chick? No, I'm playing. Let me stop. I'm going to get a little uh, cryptic. I'm drunk, y'all. Even YNW Melly or a King Vaughn would bring you to the hospital, nigga. Why if Lucci nigga said, man, go down the sidewalk. That's crazy. How you get kicked out the whip like you're roadkill? Fuck. Anyway, all right, let me stop. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, let me see. I got to find the Maybach. Let's find it. Oh, did I play the whole audio? No, I didn't. This man is here. This man is dying. He shot in the head. He just took your last breath, man. What street are you on, oh, ma'am? Can you give him the man. give him your location, please, for the ambulance to give him give the guy some I help? Oh, uh, what is this address? Man, this man just man, took his last breath, man. Man, we have help on the way already. Tell me exactly what happened. We don't know about me and my sister. We were just walking down the street, and somebody just rolled down the street with a man hanging out the car. They just pushed him out the truck and left him for dead. Man, I thought you said he was. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, chat. Listen, I'm just here for gang awareness, man. I've been been paid by the Dare program to make sure y'all don't join gangs, just for these reasons. So I got to show y'all some some harsh thing, man. Shit, <laughs> that nigga taking his last breath, nigga. Shit, they kicked that nigga out the car like he was on the aux and just not playing nothing. This is what, this is. Down the cold, then the bitch, then you know you lit when you quit to take Nigga, this is hot. Nigga, this is what was playing on the aux while they driving away after they kicked the nigga off. Remember I was broke, yeah. Now I'm getting rich, yeah. yeah. When you down the cold, then the bitch, then you know you lit. Right, let me stop now. This is getting out of hand. All right, let's get back to the real shit, man. I apologize, chat. I'm a little bit immature tonight. Shot in the head. Yes, he is shot in the head. They threw him out the car. He just died. He just took his last breath. We have the okay. ambulance already on the way, okay? Okay. And can you tell me what color vehicle he was stolen from, please? Um, white. Okay. Are white car? Yes, white car. Okay. 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 Oh, perfect. At least that woman gave some good instructions. The white Maybach. She was right. He was actually gifted that Maybach in celebration of a new album. Shit, that was a perfect vehicle to bring on the drive-by, right? 
You give me you give me a car, nigga, I'm bringing that shit on the drive-by, nigga. Fuck that. Let's see what the ops got to say about this shit. Fuck that, nigga. Oh, this is it right here? You know what's so crazy? The Maybach has a self-driving mode. Lucci could have put that shit on. He could have been shooting too. Let me stop. All right. Um, let's get serious on some real shit. I'm gonna play this and uh, and by the way, this is the real reason he was locked up for a long time. By the way, keep in mind, uh, the the judge and the court has deemed that you know, uh, at first they were blaming him, so they were charging him for the murder. Clearly, after he's taken a plea, they have they have relaxed off that stance, and now they're looking at him as a victim. Honestly, right? SUV. What direction did the SUV Yes, go? his whole body was just hanging out the car. Listen, just stay on the phone. Can you tell me if you saw any of the people that were driving the car, whether they're adults well, or kids? Or... They, were driving, they were driving real fast. And we okay. Seen... okay. Now, let's go over this plea deal. Okay, so he was sentenced. To, so it, it, essentially it was the murder um, that he was charged with that – Number one got him locked back up because he had got back out after the he had got the um the 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 uh violating street gang terrorism and prevention act he had gotten uh, count for that but he had gotten out but then this happened which was a murder and what happens is I think you all know this you know you guys are smart if we all go to rob a bank and while we're going to rob a bank we start shooting it out with the security guard of the bank the security guard kills somebody in the car. So it's five of us, we all go rob a bank, a security guard kills one of us in a car. What happens is the murder of the, or the death of one of us, we all get charged for murder for because according to the law, you initiated a crime and because someone died as a result of a crime, you are culpable of it, even if it's someone that's with y'all, right? Lil J got hit with that for like something that he actually went to jail for a long time for. It was attempted murder or something of the sort. And that's how the courts look at it. So anyway, wife and Lucci, even though his his homie or somebody that was in his car got charged or got, got murdered, they charged him with murder because there's claiming that when he went down that street, they believe that they were trying to do a drive-by. And if y'all trying to do a drive-by and people fired back defending themselves, you're guilty of murder if you're one of your guys get killed as well right cool now granted he took a plea and because of that which by the way i think his lawyer which is drew finland i'm gonna talk about him in a second did an amazing job like it's like what i mean an amazing job um drew finland very historic lawyer it's the top three lawyers in the top three lawyers in Gwinnett County, not Gwinnett, <laughs> I'm used to saying the top three goons in Gwinnett County, the Migos. The top three lawyers in the Atlanta region, or let's say Georgia, we're going to go with um, Brian Steele, which is Young Thug's lawyer currently, number one. We're going to go with number two is Drew Finland. Actually, no, we're going to go with, um, uh, um, I forgot his first name, but Sado. That's Gunner's lawyer, right? And then we're going to go with Drew Finland. Those are the top three. If you got any type of money, you got you're charged with some shit that could get you 10 years. You got to get those guys. You need them. They're going to pull all the strings. They're going to make sure you get out of it. And by the way, I, I could accurately and very pleasantly say YFN Lucci, who probably spent, if you're asking me, just on a ballpark level, two to four million dollars in legal fees, just paying his lawyers over the years to for motions and these other things to make sure that they're very prepared, even though it ultimately didn't go to trial, but he's probably paid millions. Um, it was worth every penny. Why? He got a very favorable plea, won't have to take the stand, never snitched on anybody, and will come back out and will be heralded by hip hop and will have a career. Okay, so let's go get into this plea deal of what actually happened. So, salute to my boy, Michael Seiden. Hey, my, actually, my boy, he fucks me, too. He, he actually, you want to do a podcast with me. I, I do want to do a podcast with him, too. Um, he covers a lot of the um, Atlanta, like, news stuff. He works at WSBTV. Uh, 
He says wife and Lucci is headed to prison after pleading guilty to one count of violating the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act. Okay, prosecutors told the judge. And by the way, I'm gonna actually switch over to give me this Twitter.com citing WSB TV. Uh, okay, cool. We're gonna just switch over to here and just read all his tweets because his tweets are really informative. So okay. He's, uh, here's the thing too. He's only going to serve about three and a half months in jail, which is people like once we remember, let me actually go back. Let me, let me actually go back because here and he's going to serve three and a half months. It's like, what? So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, cool. So let's read from here. Breaking. He's going to prison after pleading guilty to one count of the violation of the street gang terrorism and prevention act. Um, as part of the negotiated plea, he was sentenced to a 20 year sentence with 10 to serve. OK, now, granted, we have to be very careful what Atlanta is doing with these sentences. We just seen rapper or actually Young Thug's brother, Un Funk, who basically got a 10 year or 15 year like suspended sentence. Basically, he got a long probation. And if he violates, he goes to jail and he ended up violating, which allegedly he's supposed to be in jail, even though he's Instagramming all the time. Here's the thing. Atlanta wants to close these cases. They have so much things on their hands and on their books. They're giving people like these sweetheart, you know, deals, but they're coming with long sentences of basically probation, which means that if you get caught with anything, you automatically have to go back, go and serve this long ass time. Right. Are we that confident these artists are going to be able to remain straight and not fuck up? We don't know. Um, anyway. Uh, Lucci got sentenced to 20 year sentence with, te with 10 years to serve, which means he has to serve 10 years. That means he has 10 years to serve, as I said, in prison, followed by 10 years of probation. Now, he's been in jail for about like three or four years. As part of the negotiated plea, he'll get cre credit for time served, which is three or four years, which began the, the, the um, when he uh, surrendered to charges on January 13th, 2021. OK, so basically it's three years to the date. Right. Now, the father of four was initially facing numerous felony charges, including murder, which was the big thing. Remember, I told you the murder. They sparred and kicked that nigga out of there who was on their crew, but he died within something that the police called an attempted drive-by that they were going to do, uh, which resulted in a life sentence, which could have resulted in a life sentence without parole. As part of the plea deal, the state has agreed, which, by the way, this is huge. Drew Finland, man, you did a Drew Finland did, did some work here. As part of the plea deal the, deal, the state has agreed to write a letter to pardon and parole board, to the pardon and parole board, that it will not object to his early release. Now, what's early release? We're going to talk about it in a second. By the way, prosecutors also told the judge that they're, that with them even um, uh, suggesting or even recommending whatever sentence for him, they said that he was not the driver and he did not fire the deadly shot. So now they're kind of backed off of, oh, yeah, we're doing a crime that resulted in a man's death. They're saying, hey, they're basically almost kind of like Im like implicitly agreeing that he might have just been a victim, which is why I Lucci. Before receiving the sentence, he apologized to the victim's family as well as his own, uh, own family, friends and the court. Perfect. Now let's get to the other shit which is now, uh, here it is, which, by the way, here's Drew Finland talking about if his client will be testifying, maybe in the YSL case, which the YSL case is going on. There have been so many rumors on the Internet that this negotiated plea that we are soon going to see him as a star witness in the YSL case. What can you tell people there? Anybody that says that's a liar, um, we all just went to court today, clear as day. There is no cooperation in the YSL case. He will not be testifying in that case. Anybody wants to subpoena him will file a subpoena to quash that subpoena. He wants nothing to do with that case. He's made that clear for three and a half years. He has said he knows nothing and he will not participate in that case. And he's steadfast and through three weeks of jury, there have been so many rumors on the internet that this negotiated plea that we're okay. going to see him as a... So they're saying he won't be a, uh, you know, he was listed on the witness list for the YSL case, but they're saying he's not going to testify. Um, I, I believe he won't, 
I believe he won't testify more than I believe that Gunner won't testify, right? Like, you know, there is nothing that's incentivized for him to go. I don't think that his deal is incentivized for him to go tell on Jeffrey, right? Even though he don't like Jeffrey, but it's not incentivized for him to do that. While I do think when it comes to Gunner, even if they want him to prove a redundant point that Y sells a gang or talk about some guns that was in a car with him and Thug, I think they'd rather put Gunner up there rather than they, they would. Uh, well, they would rather have Lucci, but it's just like Lucci's deal don't seem to be dependent on the prosecution of the YSL, okay? Okay, cool. Now, let me go to here. Cool. So now, okay. So basically, they're saying wife and Lucci will serve about three and a half months in jail, which then he'll be released to serve the rest of his sentence on probation. They said more details. A part of this is a negotiated plea. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison, but after serving one-third, remember right now he served three years, one-third of his sentence is going to be 3.33, which is three years now and about like three months or so, right? So exactly, that's why you get three and a half months, right? Um, oh, My bad, chat. He is eligible for parole. After getting credit for time served, he'll be eligible for parole in 3.5 months. Prosecutors have already agreed to not fight his release, which means they won't fight it in any type of probationary uh, um, board or uh, early release parole board. So his defense team is very confident that he'll be released early from prison. Simply put, wife and Lucci will be released in three and a half months. He then also tweeted out there was an apology done in court that uh, YF and Lucci uh, apologized to the his family and friends, victims, and other people related to the case. This is what he said. Um, first off, um, I want to say my heart goes out to my friend James Adam and his family. Um, That's the person who died, I believe. Also, I want to apologize to my family and my friend for putting them through this stressful process. And I would also like to apologize to the court. And that's it. Mm. Good apology. Uh, I don't know if we could get more video on anything, but I will say this. Why Fen Lucci and Drew Finland uh, either have done on a completely amazing job, even better than Brian Steele and Sudo for Gunna, because not only will lucci not have to snitch not only will he have not have to go through a trial process that could expose so much stuff and have other people he will essentially still be getting out early he'll get back out with all his reputation people will say he stood tall and his music career will continue also the downside of everything with him is that Obviously, he's been locked up since 2021, but he might only be locked up for a few more months. When it comes to Young Thug, it appears that the prosecutor, which we all know because I talked about the whole thing with Donovan and Thomas is in third, they're not trying to offer because think about this, right? He's a high profile rap rap guy. And even though technically he's just not the leader of, you know, and by the way, I said it wrong on last stream. I think I said Inglewood Mafia Family. No, it wasn't that. It was um, Inglewood Family Bloods. I think it's IFB or something like that. And um, he's not the leader of it. He's one of the influential members. And essentially, they're cool with giving him a couple months in jail left. Or actually, a couple months in prison. Then a long probation. I'm wondering why that hasn't been offered to Thug. If Thug was offered this, why not? I'm like, bruh, you're not going to go to trial because you scared of proba uh, probation, right? You're going to take it. So I got to think that that prosecutor office has it has a hard on for Thug. They want that nigga guilty. And they want him guilty, but they want to also make a precedence with him. Now, here's the thing. Keep in mind that all this is going to boil down to, to be about like four months for Lucci. They gave him a favorable plea. But that's because he didn't have the court and the prosecutor take it to trial. They basically agreed, oh, okay, all right, we're, we're, we're just going to plead to this and that will be it. 
Young Thug and the rest of the YSL dudes have wasted so many state resources. They've done so much. They've almost implicitly tried to showcase and shame the the uh, judicial system of um, Fulton County and also the prosecut prosecutorial system. They have to make an example out of um, Young Thug and his crew, if you ask me. So that's probably the difference in what's going on. But... If he's going to get out in four months, and I'm talking about Lucci, big W, if you ask me, right? It's just interesting. I'm like, damn, they'll let Lucci out like that, but clearly they're not trying to let Thug out. Man, they really think Thug is like a menace, bro. Fuck. All right, my people. All right. Uh, let me, let's see what's going on here.